What do we got next? Next, we got identify multiples. Let's get started. Only four questions this time, thankfully. Okay. Which of the following shows only multiples of six? So anything that you would get when um, counting up by sixes. But again, like I always do, I'm gonna highlight, highlight one of the sort of subtle bits of vocabulary here, a subtle bit of sentence structure that can really lead to bad mistakes. Um, and that is only multiples of six. It doesn't say all the multiples of six. It does not say that. So that's a big difference, right? Looking at this, I don't see any of them with all of the multiples of six because six isn't included. Actually, it is in C, but yeah. So only multiples of six. Six is not on there, but 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. The answer is A. Which of the following numbers is a multiple of seven? Well, I happen to know that 28 is seven times four, but you could always do the division, or if you really wanted to, you could go back to that video where I showed the quote unquote shortcut, the formula for determining whether a number is a multiple of seven. It's kind of silly, I'm not gonna lie, but it does exist. Which equation best shows that 45 is a multiple of 15? So again, looking at the relationship between multiplication and division, okay? 45 is a multiple of 15 because it's 15 times three. That is the same thing as saying that 45 divided by three is 15, okay? That and three times 15 equals 45. These are two ways of saying the exact same thing. They mean the same thing. Just a little bit of rearranging on alternate sides of the equal sign is all. So the correct answer here is A. Which of the following shows only multiples of 10? That would be B, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, et cetera. Moving right along. That's identify multiples. We are making excellent progress.